I'm an indie developer trying to finish my roguelike tennis game in four weeks, and here's my weekly update plus three things that I learned this week. We're going to get to all of this stuff in a little bit here, but uh, I first want to show you the new feature that I added to Torso Tennis this week. So the big update this week is that, according to our calendar that we <laughs> laid out last week in the weekly update, limb theft. Limb theft is one of the core things that is central to Torso Tennis. So... Uh, we're we're playing tennis, we're a torso, and we are trying to buy limbs, acquire limbs that upgrade our power and allow us to progress in the tennis season. Let's go ahead and face off against uh, Labeni Cheddarin, torso with a cheese head, cheese puffs, and banana legs. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump in here. Now, this limb stealing will happen after the match. If I successfully defeat this cheesy opponent, then I get to steal a chance to steal their limbs uh, for a discount. Now, you can see the match is going pretty well here. I'm taking a little bit of damage. They have a cheese build, which means that I am suffering a little bit of uh, slow from the cheese of status effect here. But I've got a good dinosaur arm, which is granting me shells that defend my side of the court. It's a little wild. Uh, you know, I've jumped right into week two here. I've already had a chance to build out my character a little bit. Now here's the new feature that we added. Uh, at the end of a match, when you defeat a character, you can either choose to earn $3 straight here, just take the money, take the bills, or you can use your pliers to steal a limb. Now, let's say um, we're looking here at the cheese puffs. We get a certain discount on them. I kind of like the idea of taking this cheese head that we got. Let's go ahead and grab that. That's very nice. So now we have a stolen cheese head, and we're looking at our next match here against Leonardo Deteni, um, the Vitruvian man of torso tennis. So we're going to jump right in. And um, I'm actually just going to use my uh, win cheat here, my dev console. It's very nice being a game developer. You can just create all the cheats you ever wanted to use in the game. And you can even steal uh, the boss limbs. So unique limbs like the Leonardo Deteni head, you can just take that and steal it. And then at the end of the week, it's going to ask you if you want a tattoo. I can't afford any of these tattoos. Um, but yeah, that was the big thing we tried to get into Torso Tennis this week. That was the... Ooh, a little bean here. But yeah, that, that's the big update on Torso Tennis this week. The limb theft. Okay, so here is my weekly update. Now, this uh, this setup, this, this calendar here that I made last week has actually been motivating me a ton. Um, you can see we've completed now the first week and this limb theft goal that I set out for myself that feels really awesome to cross off. Now we can start on week two here. Now for our weekly update, let's take a look. Uh, my uh, suggestion to you all is that you form a cabal. Uh, so this pink post-it note here is a full game play test with other game developers um, that we kind of agreed at the beginning of the month of August that we would meet to do kind of in-depth playtests of each other's games. And that was so absolutely motivating to me. Um, and we all agreed on that that Friday morning when we met to play each other's games and, and kind of check in with our progress on our goals. That was like, hey, we need to keep doing this because this is extremely motivating. Um, so my recommendation to you would be find a few people that, you know, are kind of also trying to work on their creative projects and could use some accountability. I know that's a very common thing, but <laughs> you can get a lot done. Like, uh, you know, you just find your trusted people. Um, okay, the next thing is goal specificity is a balancing act. So you notice here, I kind of like knew I needed about three days to get that limb theft mechanic in the game. Um, and I've, I left kind of some open area. So testing and refining is a very vague goal, right? So it's very easy for me to check that off on the third day. Um, Likewise, these first two goals don't say that the limb theft is bug-free. In fact, nowhere does it say that the limb theft uh, mechanic in the game of Torso Tennis is completely bug-free. So I think it's kind of like nice to, um, when you're setting milestones like this, to set them kind of vague, to give you a sense of direction and purpose so that when you sit down to work for the day, you're focused on what needs to be done, but not so specific that when you miss or like, it leaves room for you to miss the goal and feel discouraged. Because I feel like that's one of the biggest things that deflates me is if I set a really uh, ambitious goal and I don't meet it. So this week I hit like a perfect balance of like kind of specific goals to keep me focused, but um, loose enough goals to where I felt like I could accomplish them, especially this last 
day here of bug blasting. That just means I'm just going to try to get as many bugs done as I can. So that was kind of nice. Um, number three, don't be afraid to shake things up. So for this next week, I kind of have a weird setup here. I wanted to move some of this stuff in. I don't think it's going to take me too long to implement, implement the new music system. So I wanted to move some of this stuff up in the week. So some of these Steam features like the achievements and cloud saves, I wanted to get in earlier just because we are looking at some milestones of um, first showing the demo at an event on this Saturday and then this Friday, a playtest night where I have kind of set the goal of completely finishing my game by. Um, I wanted to push back some of these other things. Um, and you notice that this next week here, is just a bunch of empty to-do list days, kind of similar to this bug blast day where I will be, um, you know, just trying to get as much wrap up done. And I, I recommend, you know, especially if you're working on a software or a game project, um, you are going to have a lot of unforeseen bugs come up and it's good to leave a ton of room in the schedule for that. Um, if you shake things up, it, you know, if you, you're changing this around, rewriting the the notes, uh, feel free to to do, do that. Don't be afraid to, you know, if you notice that things are a little off to, to recalibrate yourself and start again, but keep moving forward uh, is the important thing with that. Thank you so much for tuning in to this thing. And if you think Torso Tennis looks interesting, you can find the demo on Steam, add the game to your wish list. Uh, we are actually streaming development of Torso Tennis nearly every weekday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern U.S. time. We have this little work timer that we put on. We all add tasks to the overlay and work on our projects together. So if you'd like to join us over on Twitch, I would be so happy to work alongside you. Now, uh, if you like the video, you can do a thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know how, well, how your week went, what you'd like to see from Torso Tennis in the future or your favorite ice cream flavor, whatever you want to drop in the comments. Uh, catch you next week.